Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. As you can tell from the title, we are back in Paris. Well, Marco and I are back and it is Wade's first time. As you can see behind me, Marco is passed out, exhausted, and so is Wade. Pardon the deflated hair, we literally just landed this morning. And then our room wasn't ready by the time we got to the hotel, so we went around, walked, got coffee, got breakfast, and then we stopped by Alpha, which is the pet supply store and also grooming and also daycare, I think. They had an appointment for today, so we're gonna give Wade a nice bath so that he's nice and clean for this trip. But I am so excited to be back in Paris. Didn't know that I would be back this soon. This kind of came up pretty last minute, and I normally plan my Paris trips ahead of time, but this time was very sporadic and worked out because I am working on several campaigns while I'm out here. And so I'm very excited to also experience Paris with Wade, which has been something that I've been wanting to do for so long. Um, the flight here was fine. I'll go into that a little bit more like later tonight, but we need to go and head back to Alpha. Let's do a little room tour because we are staying at Hotel Hannah, which just opened. And it is the perfect mix of Parisian Japan style. And as soon as I saw photos when this hotel first opened, I was dead set on booking this property. And so I'm very excited to be here. It's absolutely stunning. It's definitely on the smaller side in terms of the other rooms that we have had in other hotels, but it is so centrally located and very excited to try out a new property. We're gonna go into some B-roll and then we'll head out. I got Wade's full enrichment toy last time. They have a smaller version of this too. I feel like Wade needs a striped shirt. I actually really like these bags. Mm -hmm. Look, it's like two-sided, mm. so it doesn't matter which way you carry yeah. it. Can, but... can you pull the bottom one? I think that one's smaller. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfect for him. Oh yeah, so cute. First time in a long time seeing these trees with some actual leaves on them. get a lot done in the summer months when the sun rises at like 8 a.m. and it sets at 9 p.m. We're always here in February but definitely noticed how much 
more crowded it actually is. I think the last time we were here in the summer, 2017, 20, 2018 with Alicia, I went in May. But look at how clean Lady is. Confirming you are going to be seeing a lot of construction in Paris leading up to the games. Games are going to be crazy. Flowing, and we have a 15 minute walk. Hello, everyone. It is the end of day one in Paris. When we finished at dinner, it took like an hour to get home when it should have taken like 15 to 20 minutes. Ended up just getting out of the Uber and walking home, but we got a nap in during that Uber that we were just being rerouted the entire time. It doesn't align with what's closed on Google, and so the Uber routes are leading you to more road closures. But anyways, that's happening for the next few days, so we're going to be a little bit more strategic about where we're going, where we're walking. Luckily, it is beautiful weather the entire time that we're here. Tomorrow, I need to shoot two projects if I can, and then I also wanted to go over some stuff about traveling with Wade. Oh my gosh, he's so tired. Wait. Originally it was just going to be me and then I was able to book Marco. Once we booked our ticket, we called United to make sure there was a slot to travel with a pet. And then once we did that, we scheduled a vet visit where you have to schedule it I think 10 days before you leave. And so at the vet visit, they just needed to make sure that he had his chip. He was up to date on all of his shots, rabies vaccine, something like that. It was a full exam. And then we got this paperwork that we needed to send out to a Carolina, right? It needed to get like mailed out somewhere. So basically oh, yeah. we paid for his appointment and the paperwork. And that one I think was around like $500. So it's pretty pricey because also flying with United, it was like 150 each way, about $800 to fly with Wade. And then we're also paying for his, like the fee at the hotel. So this is a pet friendly hotel. We had to give the name of the hotel and we basically got this paperwork that we needed to mail out. So you need to go to FedEx, mail out the paperwork with a return label with the fee for getting the paperwork, which is like $38, and then they'll mail it back to you. This was stressful before the wedding because basically everyone was traveling for the wedding and we didn't have a backup for anyone to watch Wade in case we didn't get his paperwork on time. We got Wade's paperwork, I think either the day or two days before we were scheduled to fly. So luckily that all worked out. Um, and then once we got his paperwork, we needed to go to a separate check-in at the airport where they look over the paperwork and they give you this tag on the carrier. So this is for United. Uh, the one that we have is from Away and this like gets the job done. We like it, it's sturdy enough and Wade really likes it. So we were training Wade with this a few months before the wedding to get him really comfortable in it. And then 
we just packed a couple of necessities with us. I have emergency like pee pads and diapers just in case. We didn't want any accidents, but Wade was fine on the flight. I packed some wipes. We have two different harnesses. One is a bit thicker, but it is warm. So he's just been wearing this one from St. Argo, which is like a really nice leather one. And it's just very comfortable for Wade. Got a blanket. We stocked up on, we have Wade's food. Wade is normally on farmer's dog and that has been the trickiest thing when it comes to travel because obviously we can't travel with it. So we're giving this one a try. This one is Spot and Tango. And he eats it, but he doesn't, you know, clean his plate. We're gonna have to like compensate with some snacks and other things on this trip because Wade is walking a lot. Some other treats that we really like are the soft and chewy. And this is a duck recipe. Wade, do you want duck? Or you want a salmon stick? Wade's knocked out. Let him rest. We have some toys. Got some extra poo bags paw cleaner because they get really dirty. We have a brush. This one is Chris Christensen, I think. And then we have a deodorizer for Wade. And we also have something like for our clothes. And then a couple of other treats. So that's essentially everything that we traveled with for Wade. It's always a little bit stressful on the flight because you wanna make sure that they're okay. It is a stressful thing for the dog usually, but I think Wade did okay. Luckily for our flight, the flight attendant allowed me to have Wade and Marco was able to just sleep. And basically Wade stayed with me until we got to Paris. I saw that like TikTok where they said that your dog only typically has 12 summers in their lifetime. So I was like, all right, let's bring Wade to Paris. Let's see how it goes. Tonight's agenda, since we already had dinner, going to shower, wash my face, get settled, and then I'm gonna start editing and also need to make sure that everything is prepped for the projects that I'm working on while we're here. So that is it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Sorry, Marco wanted to include something. It's Hold it, my oh, arm man. hurts. I gotta talk. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so tired. I'm just, I was just letting her know that. It's 8.30 p.m. right now and it feels like it's two o'clock in the afternoon. No, literally. Like. The, the sun is not even starting to set. Feels weird to be like ready for bed, but it's still so bright out. They left. These Madelines in the room. One is matcha, delicious, and the other is sesame, also delicious. You wanna do breakfast in the room or downstairs? I really love like the whole branding of the hotel. Last night took a shower and passed out right after like literally in my robe and Wade too woke up around like 10 30 a little bit hungry and then after that I just decided to get a bit of work done just so that I can streamline today 
But what's nice about being here, like even though we're only here for five nights, I can get a lot done in the day because the sun literally doesn't set until like 10 o'clock. I'm pretty sure like I passed out around 9.30 and it was still bright out. So to my body, it felt like a nap and not going to sleep. But I'm glad that I woke up a little bit and then I was just basically editing until I got tired. So now I'm going to get ready for the day. So the first thing that I'm gonna shoot is with Saks. I got to pick some nice essentials in the wardrobe. Saks is really good buys, so it's always good to browse them if there are some, like the 90s bag from the row is available there in a blue. Perfect for like my minimal brides if you want a little something blue moment. But the white one is also really good. The 90s bag has been very hard to find. Okay, I don't want this to run too long, so we're just gonna speed this up until my makeup is all done.
farmer's dog and we struggled to find food for him for Italy as well. We tried to bring spot and tango and it just did not work out. So we found this little pop-up as we were walking today and he really likes it. Waity, are you tired already? It's only been like a day. We've been walking around so much, especially because we experienced how bad the traffic is with all of the road closures. Today, we tried to walk as much as we could. It was also starting to take forever to even get cars, but we managed to walk a lot today, so Wade was exhausted. So by the time we actually go to have dinners or go to restaurants, he is just taking his nap and sleeping. But today was good. We were not able to do the photo booth, which is what I wanted to do up by Montmartre. There was also a little doggy store that was around there that we got to check out. Didn't pick up anything. But another thing that I really wanted to do on this trip was go to the artist square. A bunch of artists set up their easels and extra chairs and you can get a portrait done by an artist here in Paris. And so we brought Wade even though it was just better for him to reference a photo, it was just still so cute that we had Wade there with us and hopefully going to frame it when we get home. Much better than the work that I did or Marco did when we tried to paint Wade, but it was a really nice experience. It was like 100 euros to do the sketch, but certain artists will charge more or less depending on their style. We saw a lot of people doing sketches with their partners or parents and it was really cute. So highly recommend checking that out. That was my first time seeing it in all of my trips from Paris. So this trip is definitely a little bit more Wade focused, at least like the last two days are. I was able to shoot um, one of my projects today, have another one that we're aiming to do tomorrow. I feel like pickpocketing has become an even bigger issue now compared to all of my recent trips. Something I've heard about in a lot of other cities, New York included. So highly recommend just being super careful and vigilant when you are out and about. We had overheard stories of people that got pickpocketed. Um, and then on our way back to the hotel from dinner, a man stopped us and said that he was pickpocketed and was looking for money, had this whole 
spiel and he didn't miss a single beat it sounded so rehearsed when he started talking to us i like clenched my bag so tight and also held on even tighter to my phone this man was asking for money and then we told him we didn't have any cash the biggest red flag was him saying can we go to an atm and you pull out cash like no we just said no sorry and walked away um but something to keep in mind his story could have been true but it just didn't sound right to us so we trusted our instincts and walked away from it and that was it so just keep an eye out especially if you're traveling in the summer where it gets so crowded i feel like it's never been that big of a concern our recent trips because we're always here when it's pretty quiet but it is summer there's tons of tourists and i can only imagine how much crazier it's going to be with the olympic games starting like next month not even specific to paris just always be vigilant and always keep an eye out on your belongings. So, that is it. A minute right made me lose my way. One minute high, knew my life would change. And I was hoping that you could stay. The city lights will that remain. photo shoot with I'm going back and forth between cameras because I'm filming both on my phone and my camera but today we have a photo shoot with Alina who took photos for us during our 2018 Paris trip so it has been what is that six years since we last saw her five and a half and so going to meet up with her in about an hour so gonna get ready I just put on my sunscreen, so this is the beauty of Jocelyn one. I'm going to just do my everyday routine. I don't think I've filmed this in a while, so let's get to it. Bonjour, monsieur, madame, monsieur. Uh, and then we'd be like, what? <laughs> so be like, Bonjour, wait. Oh, the garden is so pretty. Bonjour, I feel like it wasn't wait. like this. Oh, nice. What are they gonna say? Bonjour, Wade. Bonjour. Bonjour, monsieur Wade. <laughs> Alina, Wade did a great job. 
so I'm very excited to see the photos. Uh, it's a bit of a gloomy day today, so good thing I'm wearing the trench because I thought I would be sweating in this. Yeah, so, day. yeah, so now we're just going to be walking. We're gonna see if my friends over at Goyard are there today. Our friends? just got back rested for a bit i had to submit my work for sacks okay. so hopefully that gets proved pretty quickly we are now going to head out my friend mella is also here for her sister's bachelorette so we're gonna see where they're at it also might rain today so it's a good like indoor activity day like if you can have an indoor backup plan. So usually indoor plans are either Galleries Lafayette or Le Bon Marche and the Grand Epicerie. So we might get to that today. Wadey is so over walking. He just like goes inside his bag. Inside dog. We're gonna have to see if you can get groomed before we fly home. Huh? Oh, Bubba, you're so tired. You're so tired. I think we're actually going to end the Paris vlog here. I will have a part two, so stay tuned for that. You ready to go back out? No. <laughs> the look he's giving me is like, Mama, please, I'm so tired. I like your hotel room. Look at his face, look at him, he's asleep. Oh, lady. Hey guys, I will see you in the Paris vlog part two. Bye.